Hey, hey, welcome back everybody. Gosh, are you getting cabin fever yet? Are you ready for spring cleaning? And as you're going through the house, are you looking at these things going, where did I get this from? Or who gave me this? Okay, mom told me who gave me this and where this came from, but for the life of me, I can't remember. I've been doing this myself lately. So, you know, mom keeps telling me, you know, more and more about some of these items that she has at her house or things that she keeps giving me. And I can't remember, you know, who they came from or who they belong to. And, you know, doing this, it actually made me think of creating this, this binder of information called an heirloom binder. So that's why this episode is called, Where Did You Get All This Stuff From? Now, depending on how long you have been collecting heirlooms, this can be a daunting process. So don't expect it to get it all done in one day. The important thing is just to get started. And how do you get started? Well, I wasn't sure either. So where's the one place we go for ideas about crafts and things like that? Yeah, Pinterest. <laughs> I went to Pinterest to try to find some ideas on uh, how to create an heirloom binder or something that would you know look nice you know get some ideas and I found these organizational sheets put out by the Spiker family and they have a blog and newspaper that they publish online with great tips and I will include a link to their main page below in the description and you want to know the best part these sheets are available to download for free who doesn't love free? Y'all know I do. <laughs> so there are two templates for you to use, and I'll put them up here. One is an index sheet where you can add your items in the order that you come to them in your house, and then you add a specific, unique index number. Then that index number is then added to the detailed form, which is right here. On the detailed form is everything about that particular item, the name, the physical description, who made it, if it was made by someone, when was it made, who owns it now, or how it came to you, and maybe any other information that you want to include. And there is even a spot for a photo. This is great. I'm so excited to get started on this. So you're going to need to have a three ring binder. You're going to need to print out these sheets. And what you need to just start doing is start going around the house and start taking pictures of these items. First start taking the pictures. Once you get the pictures, then you can start detailing about these each individual items. So first, take pictures of everything that you know has been passed down or that is a family heirloom. Even if it's at your house or someone else's house, just start taking pictures. Now for the forms, I will include the link also in the description where you can go to download these forms. So after you take the pictures and download the forms, then you're gonna upload those pictures to where? You're like, but wait a minute, we gotta print these photos out. You know, do you know how much it costs to go and print out photos? Not as expensive as you think. I've got a bonus tip for you this time. What you do is you take those photos and you upload them to a photo site like Shutterfly. Shutterfly runs deals all the time where they will offer free printing of photos, like four by six photos for just pay shipping. That's all you do, up to like a like hundred photos sometimes. They have great deals or even it's it's really cheap. You know, I can't, can't even tell you how cheap, like maybe five cents a photo to have them printed. But that's the best way for you to do it. That way you don't have to take it anywhere. You don't have to print it at home, waste your ink. And they're great high quality photos. So I definitely suggest signing up for Shutterfly or even another free photo site that you are familiar with that runs similar deals. Um, Walgreens might run something also as well, but upload them there have them printed through them, and then when they finally come in the mail, get started. Get started with the, the, the binder and the, the sheets that you've printed out. I would suggest writing on the back of each photo the item number. Remember I told you about the index that you fill out first as you have taken pictures of each item? Make sure you write down that unique number on the back of each photo. Even though you're going to attach it if that photo becomes detached in some way, shape, or form, at least you have that item number on the back. So that's my two cents this time, guys. I know this is going to take a while for you to do, 
but I'm excited to do it and I haven't started yet, but I plan on getting started pretty soon. So if you have any other ideas, if you have some heirlooms you want to share, you know, share them down below. I'm really excited to get started with this. So anyway, like I said, that's my two cents. We'll see you later. Hey everyone. Thanks so much for watching my video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and then make sure you click the notification bell so you will be alerted to whenever I upload a new video because you don't want to miss any of these. And then after you do that, be sure to check out the other videos that I have from my collection. We'll be seeing ya!